Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video with me, Essek Hydra. Within this video, we're going to be talking about Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. Oh, hang on, scratch that. Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Prophecy. That's right, Martyr is getting the very first of its major DLCs, or add-ons, or standalone sequels. I don't know what to call this. It's coming out soon, and it's a standalone product which contains a bunch of additional stuff. And right now, there's about 101 additional questions we'd all like to ask for clarification but the faq will be coming next week for now here's what we know we're going to be getting a new class this is going to be a pet based class this is going to be a mechanicus so for those of you out there that love zeros and ones and toasters this is going to be right up your alley and pet classes as well let's face it are pretty cool it's pretty cool we all love a good old necromancer obviously mechanicus necromancer not quite the same thing but still, pets are awesome. New campaign, we're going to have three new chapters. Now, three of those will be playable by the Mechanicus. Two of them will be playable by everyone else, because the Mechanicus is basically getting a chapter explaining what he was doing during the first campaign of Martyr. At least that's how I understand it thus far. We're also going to have some new environments for the game. We're going to have some monasteries. We're going to have some factories. Well, I think we've already got both of those. Uh, maybe there'll be new variants. But there's also mention of deserts and ruthless worlds engulfed in lava and volcanoes. So I'm looking forward to that. One thing Marty has done and I've really enjoyed is, has been the maps and the general sort of aesthetic of things. So I'm excited to see what happens there. Now, the new enemy type is also tickling my pickle quite a lot here, I'm not going to lie. We're going to have Tyranids and the Eldar. Oh my god, we can move on from squishing the dark spiky boys to the just not so spiky smooth helmet boys. Um, I don't exactly know what the Orcs refer to as Elder. Perhaps you can let me know down in the comments below. But either way, get to kill Elder. Get to kill another two types of Xeno. And that is amazing. Squishing bugs as well. It's going to be cool. I really hope that there's just big old swarms and that they're... You, they, I just... Yeah, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to seeing the big units in particular. I hope they're just sort of... I hope the animations are nice because I don't want to see a Carnifex or a Broodlord like swiping around looking really clunky like a Titan, you know. I really hope it's uh, looking good. And as well as this, we also have some new mechanics. Uh, basically, that is to say it'll be based in Marty's 2.0 update. So the game as such, if you're not familiar with the level system, redesign a lot of the items redesigned gems and upgrades they're not going to be called gems but just so you know what it means um, items will be upgradable in the sorts there'll be a new item tier with different abilities that can be rolled on it so different loot types game's going to be a lot faster animation speeds all faster 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 everything's faster um, I don't know about movement speed probably faster they're basically trying to turn it into more of an ARPG than their sort of slow strategic version that they were trying to do as a brief summary but feel free to check out the other videos which we'll be doing in which we've been doing for this topic so uh console players of course um you're coming after the pc players <laughs> for some reason this is just always the way of the world um the date will be confirmed but for us i believe we have the may the 28th now, i'll touch on the price as well 24.99 bucks that is usd not too bad but a 30% discount for anyone that owns Marty already. But again, you can buy it as a standalone product. It's kind of weird that you could do that. But you could, and then you, I presumably you could play with people that are jumping over from the other game at instantly be that level, because it's continuing on in power level. So I have no idea how they're going to do all of this. Um, I don't know how it's going to fit together. Is it going to be like two different games and you just like transfer a character from one to the other game? Will it be one big game and you unlock different portions of it depending on what you've bought? A bit like Total War. Who blooming knows? But I'm pretty excited about it. And one last thing to say, guys, before we skedaddly for today. Not only is the FAQ out tomorrow. Okay, two things. It's also Warhammer Fest coming up soon. Two days. I'm not exactly sure what day I'm going to go. I've made my mind up that I'm going to go because there's loads of people going that I would like to meet developers and any of you guys so if you're off or if you want to grab a drink or a sandwich or both two drinks and a sandwich packet of crisps hit me up down in the comments below we'll have a chat we'll have a game we'll do whatever i don't know maybe maybe even if someone's got spare army i'll play a tabletop i don't know uh let's just have a bit of fun though guys have yourself a great week lots of videos coming at you soon Lot all of these games workshop games are planning stuff planning stuff i've got about five videos lined up for different titles now so i uh, can't say anything more, I don't think. Nope, I don't think I can. See you around, guys. Have a great day.